Hey guys, in this video I'll go over radio for the Viper. The Viper has three radios. It has COM1, which is UHF, COM2 is VHF, and it also has a backup UHF radio right here. First, let's look at the control panel. These are the volume knobs for the UHF and VHF. If you bring them all the way down, it turns the radio off. This knob here controls the squelch. If you turn it off, you're gonna hear a static noise, so I recommend leaving it in the squelch position. If you set it to GD, it tunes the radio to the guard receiver. Uh, for UHF, guard is 243, and for VHF, it's one to 1.5. So I recommend setting it to the volume you want and leaving this switch in the squelch position. I'll really quickly talk about the rest of the audio panel. Secure voice and TF don't do anything. Missile controls the volume of your sidewinders and threat controls the volume of the RWR. Hot mic and intercom don't do anything and there's also volume switches for the TAC and an ILS. So you can control the radios with this computer right here. You can see what your UHF and VHF are tuned into. If you press COM1 you can enter the UHF menu and COM2 is for the VHF menu. Both of these menus work exactly the same way, so I'll just talk about the UHF. Right here is your selected frequency, so you can dial in whatever you want and click enter. And when I click return, you can see now I'm dialed into 315. You can also enter a channel here. For example, I can click channel 5 and click enter. And when you're using a channel, you can use the rocker switch to quickly change through your channels in the main menu. If you highlight this, you can go through all your preset channels and adjust the frequency for that channel. The last thing you can do in the UHF page is click the sequence switch to switch it from main and both. In main it works as a normal radio. If you have it set to both then it'll be a normal radio but you can also listen to the guard receiver at the same time. Now I'll show you how to actually talk on the radio. In DCS you can talk in the menu right here which is how you talk to the ground crew and you can use DCS's voice chat for multiplayer. If you want to open the menu for the UHF it's right alt and backslash for the VHF, it's right control backslash. If you want to use the voice chat, you need to bind these buttons, transmit switch UHF VoIP and VHF VoIP. If you hold the transmit switch for UHF, it'll highlight it, and same thing for VHF. Now let's go over the backup radio. For the backup radio, you need to set this switch to backup. You can power it on by setting it to main or both. The volume knob here doesn't work, it still uses the volume from COM1. If you have it set to manual mode, you can dial in any frequency you want to talk on. In preset mode, you can dial in whatever channel you want to talk on, and you can click the status button to see what frequency that channel is using. Guard tunes it to the guard receiver. T-tone doesn't do anything. Test display will illuminate the, all the segments. This cover here, you can open it, and you're supposed to be able to program it from the cockpit, but in DCS it doesn't work. You can see your frequencies on this little panel right here. And if you turn off the squelch switch, there will be a static noise, so I recommend leaving it on. That was radio for the Viper. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you later.